Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial in Maya. My name is Veronica and today I'm going to show you a little trick that is pretty easy using native Maya and it's going to save a lot of time for animators uh, that want that for example has an object, in this case I have a sword, and it is connected to the body with a parent constraint. So if you can see it has a control and it's connected here to the body. And but sometimes we want to release that object but keep it in the position it was. So most of the time people what it does is to have two objects and then they hide the one that is constrained and unhide the one that is uh, not constrained in the same position. But there is a little trick that is more easy and it's going to save you a lot of time. So, uh, right now I have a constraint from the wrist joint to the sword. So that's why I have this blue connection here. <clears throat> and when he runs, well, ignore the hair, <laughs> it's dynamic, it's not yet working. But when it runs, the sword is in there, uh, connected to the arm. And I want it to release, for example, in uh, frame 15. So I'm going to hit key with S. And now, if I run the animation again, I'm just going to hide the hair because it's very <laughs> distracting. Uh, now the sword is not following. So, what I'm going to do, if you see this is now green and it says blend parent 0. If I put blend parent into 1, now the sword is following. So what I'm going to do is just hit key on the previous, put it in 1, and in the next put it in 0. So I have from the beginning of the animation, he has the sword connected, and after that, in frame 15, he releases and keep going. And that's pretty much it. It's a very easy trick, but it's going to save you a lot of time and money. Hope you like it and hope you find this useful.